between 30 and 50 below zero this morning, and that means frostbite is possible within just minutes. Frostbite not the only concern. Hypothermia is another issue during this extreme cold. Dr. Mandy Romero from SSM Health joins us this morning to talk about some of the warning signs. Good morning. Good morning. So I was telling you before the break, when I think of hypothermia, I think of the water or definitely outside. And you said, I mean, that's not always the case. You could get this inside. Correct, correct. You could even get it inside if temperatures get cold enough. And so this, uh, this is the time to really check in if you have any uh, elderly family members, neighbors, things like that. Sometimes they just don't have the same heating supply that we may think that we have. Sure. And so they're used to keeping it at a cooler temperature. And with these cold temperatures, with those cooler temperatures, even indoors, things like hypothermia can set in. And so hypothermia doesn't take a lot. If you think about it, the human body really just has to be at about 98 degrees. And so we do our best to keep it at 98 degrees. Whether it's extreme cold, extreme hot, the body does a pretty good job at trying to regulate that. Problem is, suddenly with these temperatures, we're talking negative 30, negative negative 50, that's a 120 to 150 degree temperature change suddenly that the body's exposed to. When that happens, obviously those regulatory systems aren't really in place. That's when hypothermia sets in. So we're talking about initially symptoms like pain, um, cold feelings, things like that. When it starts getting extreme, we start feeling the absence of pain because suddenly your nerves are shutting down. So you don't feel that pain, that cold. Mm. You start uh, having other symptoms, things like muscle weakness, fatigue, confusion. Ultimately, your heart and your uh, brain really just can't keep up, and the ultimate demise is hypothermia. And so a lot of us think of maybe a famous movie scene, like you said, someone in the water, that scene yep. in Titanic with Leonardo DiCaprio, but it can just happen being outside. So if you are with somebody and you start noticing maybe they're not making sense or they're confused, lethargic, taking shallow breaths, these are all signs of hypothermia, and you need to contact 911 immediately. Best thing you can do, of course, is stay indoors. I know we've been saying this for a couple days now, mm -hmm. but if you have to be out outside, you know, the layers, keeping all the body parts really covered is important. So the nose, the ears, really that core temperature. Now, what's really interesting is that in temperatures like this, people often think, let me drink some alcohol. That'll keep me warm and <laughs> let me feel good. But there's science behind why you don't want to do that. And this affects me, all of us that maybe are just enjoying a game outdoors or, or celebrating something. And of course, the home homeless population. Sure. So alcohol actually does the opposite. What it does is it vasodilates, so you get that warm sure. feeling in your extremities. But your core temperature is dropping, which actually makes you more susceptible to things like hypothermia. So that's a really important thing to keep in mind right now. And then of course, if you are leaving things in your car, a lot of us have trouble starting our car this time, um, but to not keep certain things in your car like medications. Medications with that temperature variance will lose some of their efficacy, may not have those great results. Um, musical instruments, of course, never leave a loved one, pet, that kind of thing. And then of course, cans, canned goods, beers, sodas, things like that will explode. So definitely take those things out of the car. Oh, all good advice and yeah. all really important yeah. stuff to keep in mind, especially with this cold. Thankfully, we're on the tail end of it. Yeah, so I know. About time. Yeah. I have a lot of friends from the East Coast, West Coast saying, what does it feel like being out there? And I said, well, well, not great. It, it's, it's, uh, it's almost like sitting in your freezer, but 30 degrees worse. Right. So right. it's okay. colder than Antarctica, colder than your freezer. Yep. Wild. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Great, great to be here. So criminals do not take a snow day just like Dr. Mara does not. And we have proof this morning <laughs> that one crime